Okay. Wow. I'm glad we got the lights on. Yeah. It really brings like it sets a, the mood. Mm -hmm. It'll change. This is gonna be a little mystical, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I've been kind of like playing this moment up a little bit. Like, I'm glad we we're like choosing like a night, like quiet. You know, like I wanted a little magic to this talk. Is that weird? No, not at all. I, I mean, it. magic is what we do. So let's do it. Wow, I'm excited. Uh, welcome. 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 Here we are. Good evening. <laughs> we live in an RV. <laughs> I am so happy you are joining us for episode one of the Namaste Nomadic podcast. Mm -hmm. We have a podcast, Madeline. Yeah, it's a good feeling. I'm excited cool. to get the word out there about how this life is so ever-changing and magic and it's just so full of adventure and lessons and i'm really pumped to share it with you josh and also just to share some of the fun stories and things that we learn along the way so i'm really I pumped for that <laughs> be more excited to be on this ride with you you know uh uh rv life has been amazing for us we're just over a little month over a month into it right but I wouldn't have imagined we would have been here this time mm -hmm. December last year or even just one year ago. Like, I don't even know. I mean, I, I'm thinking about that time last year and I'm like, was I going to get a house? Like, what was my next move? Was I just going to, were we going to get a, a another place to rent or, you know, it was like, looking back, it was like, I didn't really have a plan. And then once we you know, a few of our friends kind of started getting rigs and we kind of had the little light bulb in our head of this is a possibility. People do this. <laughs> and you know me, I'm a big researcher and Googler. So I just started going ham and started looking into all these different resources and found out that this is a secret little magic niche. <laughs> it's so amazing and um the more i learned about living on the road the more i was just pulling and drawn to the concept of freedom and being able to do whatever we want be wherever we want to be and also the push it gives us both to elevate in our careers i just think it's all around 100 percent. there's so much healthy. to unpack and digest this is going to be cool but what i think we should just kind of say for our audience is you and I are young people. I'm 30, you're 24, mm -hmm. and we just moved full-time into an RV where we are transitioning our careers to being totally mobile. We're traveling the country amidst a global pandemic. And what I think we're going to do on this podcast is hopefully share what this means for us, how this story's been, what we've went through to get here, and what's coming next but also just talk a lot about what it is like we're doing in this world with our, with our energy, you know, with our magic, how is that spreading? How is it affecting? How are the issues we're impacting with our work changing? I think that's powerful in a lot of ways, but I, I kind of want to step back because you were, we were talking a little bit about that feeling like over just a year ago when we weren't even, like sure we would be in this situation we would never imagined it you know i really remember kind of where we were at that point you know december winter hit and it kind of took away a lot of our like outdoor freedom you were grinding away at rainbow serving tables mm -hmm. and honestly i think it was stressing you out you know because well yeah i mean there was long hours on my feet and i just i also think you know, I love the serving industry and I give most of what I know and learn from my professionalism to that. That was a big part of my growing up, um, you know, and I think the reason why I really drove myself to also go into the RV life is because I knew I was ready to move on to something else. And I knew that I had learned and grasped the lessons I needed to learn from that. And I'm just really happy that I got to realize within myself that I'm ready to expand my career through 
what I love to do the most, which is adventure and health and all all the fun jazz. <laughs> That's always been the thing that I think has held you and I together. Our like adventurous spirit. You know, we we like to hike and canoe and generally just enjoy the out enjoy the outdoors. Mm-hmm. And I think being stuck inside through the winter, like grinding away with lots of stressful work financially and just physically was exhausting on both of us i mean i remember pretty clearly that you know it was hard on our relationship Mm -hmm. and i love you living in that house yeah like it has been a really cool ride with you and i mean we're almost we've almost been together two years now Mm -hmm. but the winter of 2019 was was tough on us for sure and i feel like there was that moment we had, we were on a little Airbnb trip together up in the mountains and on our ride home, we just definitively decided like, let's get an RV. Mm-hmm. And I think we, there was something in us that knew we, we needed a shake up. We needed a change. We needed to mm-hmm. kind of embrace that inner us in so many ways. Well, once it was a choice. It was the only choice. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's important for us to talk about with our audience. Like, yeah. That what it was our only choice, and that was true. We didn't make a plan B, did we? No, I mean, I think we battled. Like you know, I I had the feeling in my in myself that I needed to to have a plan B in a way. Um, but you know, our focus just stayed solely on finding that RV, finding our rig, because even the times where we would get turned down or we would look for a rig that we really wanted, and then it would either be bought or it wouldn't be in our price range or it just wouldn't work out we would kind of feel like defeated and Mm -hmm. like is this really the the right path for us and I just remember you Josh always saying just just keep positive I just remember you playing your guitar and just singing away and you know thinking about the the couple of days leading up to getting Judy we had no big le- booty yeah. <laughs> Judy. Yeah, we, we right. haven't even mentioned Judy yet. But um, <laughs> the couple days leading up to Judy, we had not even seen her anywhere. We had not seen any ads really or anything. And then it was the day before Josh had said to me, I found this one in Wyoming. Mm-hmm. You cool, because we'd just gotten turned down. Yeah, it's an hour away. Let's go see what it's about. No big deal, you know. Let's just let's go. A see. quick note quick to note. our audience. <laughs> a quick note: <laughs> financing an RV is tough. And honestly, if it wasn't for the uh-huh. coronavirus and the way that banks were lending, the super low interest rates, I don't know if we would have been able to get it. So but we really got our foot in the door right when the perfect moment. Yeah, it was div- pretty much. Yeah, uh, someone told me that it was an act of God, like it was divine intervention, and. And partially, I believe that, but I also believe that we manifested it. Mm-hmm. We, we wanted we, it so we bad. We wanted it so mm-hmm. bad, and we and knew we still want it that it so was. bad. It's awesome. <laughs> we just knew it was the right move for us. I guess I just remember how bad it sucked when we applied online for the RV and got the denied, and then we went to try to consider getting it as a business expense, and then that didn't kind of work out because we found mm-hmm. a too old of a model. I just remember being so stressed out in the house, and you and I were both just... I I know that I was stressed because, you know, I'd lost my job at the Rainbow. Mm-hmm. Um, I was working a lot more driving around and doing delivery. I wasn't spending as much time on my life coaching career as I wanted. So there was just a lot of factors, but also underneath all the factors that were so stressful, I really feel like we internally kept to the goal that we had set. And I feel like that is what made this whole thing happen. And if we would have fell into the motion of this is too hard, you know, I don't think we're going to have enough money for this. I don't think we're going to be able to find what we're looking for i think if we would have given more attention to those feelings that that's where we would have been today but today we are here because in that moment we said this is hard right now these people aren't lending it to us but we will find a way we pushed on and we found judy 
And I remember that car ride to go get Judy, (laughs) to go see Judy for the very first time. We were riding there and... Total silence. uh, We were just trying to play music, you know. I don't even know. It was so weird. We weren't even, like, thinking about how we weren't talking to each other. We just naturally weren't. Because I was, I know that I was thinking, like, kind of, why are we even doing this? There's no way we're going to get alone together. This is so stupid. You know, all of those Mm -hmm. things. And they turned us down at first. They Uh said, nope. Uh And we almost left again. Yeah, I I was like, well, I mean, I told you, oh my gosh, we drove all this way. And then we were walking out and he said, oh, let me try something else. Wait, one one more thing. I got one more lender I want to try. Let me submit this. And he comes back with the term sheet. Sits down in front of us. Okay, guys, so we got you done for this. And so I guess wait, the moral, wait, wait, the moral is, <laughs> yeah, the moral is like, I feel like we, through our energy and our manifestation, mm-hmm. that is really one of the only ways that that happened. I, I believe also it. believe that the energy we brought into the dealership with the people we talked to that day had an impact. So we were, kindness. Yeah, we were really good. So I just think that if you want any goal, any dream of any sort, mm-hmm. You give your entire self to it, your best self, to achieving that dream. There's no way that you won't have it. It's coming to you mm-hmm. on a silver platter if you work for it. And we worked for this. We are still working for it. I mean, uh, the first week, I feel like I still felt like I was on this big... I mean, I kind of was. It was my birthday, but I was on this big camping trip. And it's kind of hard to get out of that mode because... We're constantly adventuring and all I want to do is wake up late and lounge around and lay with the cats and go outside and walk around, you know, and like, why do we have have to work? work? (laughs) I'm the opposite, huh? I know. And so (laughs) I'm all trying to get where you are at. But um, so anyway, I just very thankful because I just feel like we are a really good team, Josh and I, you and I. (laughs) And... We made this happen because we wanted it. Mm-hmm. I believe completely in the law of attraction. I, I truly believe that you can achieve what you want in this world with proper mindfulness, intention, and resiliency to commit to any goal until it's accomplished. It takes time. It takes a lot of patience and endurance, but we're here, and we it is a testament to our willpower. Mm-hmm. Now... What are we going to do with that? You know, what what, if, what are we going to do with that, that uh, willpower? You know, what are we going to manifest in this universe? And I think a big part of the RV is giving us that vessel for good. You know, like mm-hmm. I am a documentary filmmaker. I will producer at shaman motion pictures with our awesome friends and partners dan and mark and all the lovely ladies who are part of our team too and Mm -hmm. we're extremely fortunate and blessed to have such a tight-knit team that that they're family no doubt like as long as we've known people you know going back to the jackson house and Mm. just like shout out shout out (laughs) oshkosh crew like you know we we were young reckless kids for a while and we had a blast but you know those those moments forged us i'm I'm so thankful that we have the people we have in our life because they've given us these opportunities forged through experience and so what do we do with that opportunity right i love yeah tell me a little bit about this podcast goal what's going on podcast is part of it you you know and but I, I think the greater mission of what we want to do with shaman is so cool too because you know we're you and me if, if what's if we're off doing something together outside this rig like if we're not running errands or something like we're we're hiking and we're canoeing and uh-huh. we, we love the outdoors right mm-hmm. nature is our is like our foundational temple right mm-hmm. it's where we can relax and enjoy ourselves and feel our most selves and I know for a fact that you and I both greatly care about environmental protection and like conservation, sustainability, 
you know, we just got our solar panels installed. We're, we're, we're one step closer to being more sustainable and eco-friendly and environmental issues are so important to us because we're outdoorsy and, you know, we both have lots of experiences with our family members or even selves in terms of mental health and trauma and things like that, addiction. I think it's really clear that in a lot of ways, our people and our planet are they're pretty sick, you know, and I think we have an opportunity with Judy to travel the world and, and bring light and education and kindness that that old wisconsin nice <laughs> out to everybody that we meet you know i want to i want to be a radiation of good hey, energy colorado how you doing <laughs> colorado how you doing i loved living in colorado you know it was so cool to have a big send off from all of our fam our friends out there family family friends. exactly family and now that we've been on the road and like you and know, that's what just I, I I really I almost feel more connected to my loved ones in a weird way um just because I want to be sharing with them what's going on so I feel like I'm I'm calling more I'm writing more I you know I'm I'm wanting to spend more time FaceTiming and stuff and it's a good feeling because it feels like check it out like you know. I'm safe. I'm doing good. <laughs> Check it we out, like cut you know. this all thing. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> Our family members have been extremely important to us, and that was cool about you know getting to spend the time in Wisconsin. Was we we literally just lived at our mom's houses <laughs> for yeah. a couple of weeks there. Shout out to our moms. Shout out, mom. I love you. I love, <laughs> love you, you, girl. Love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> A little low key representation. How much we love our moms, but they it was so cool that they let us stay with them because mm -hmm. it really helped us. It kind of was like that transitionary phase, like get on your feet a little, leaving yeah. the house behind, the sticks and bricks, as they say, and uh -huh. like have a stable place where we got good plugins and stuff. But it got to be time, you know, time to to go. I think I think it is so funny too when. I talk to people, whether it's meeting them for the first time or seeing them after a long time of not, telling them that I live in an RV, I think their reaction is just priceless. Everyone reacts in a different way. Some people are just like, what? Some people are, how do you do that? And like, you know, all the, the fear pops up right away. And I think that that's a really interesting concept that comes along with nomadic lifestyle is fear. And I think that that's what really holds people back from stepping out of their comfort zone and their box. And whether that means living on the road or whether that means just traveling more or just getting outside even more. I just think that it's a doorway to unlocking what's really going on inside mm -hmm. and to unlocking true happiness and serenity. It's a form of meditation. And I'm just enthused we're here <laughs> i can't believe we're here i'm looking around this rv doing this podcast and i'm just all i feel is is thankfulness and joy <laughs> and i'm gonna drink this wine cheers <laughs> i feel completely grateful too rv life uh it seemed natural in a lot of ways for me and uh, you know that i think we ran into <laughs> some conflict because of how mellow and like cool minded i would be about like yeah this is all fine everything's good it'll work it'll work it'll like, work no it's, it's not fine. fine like we need and to figure this out now, now. <laughs> I, i've just uh you know because I, i've been flying around the country filming documentaries and on i've done so many road trips in my life that like travel seemed like a natural part of who i am so this rv was like just my regular course of evolution right like mm -hmm. here we are now mm -hmm. this is great and then Next, I'll have a sailboat or something. I don't know. Like, you know, like we're just moving on. One day, I'll, we'll get a spaceship, you know, like the, I just feel like forward is a good direction. But you're right when you said that the fear is, is a big component in what yeah. drives people to take those big leaps of faith, those changes, those discomfortable changes, I think can really grasp people in ways that almost paralyzes them. You know, a lot of people have asked this question. Like, some people are, are all in. They're like, man, I want to do that. And other people are like, 
full of questions. Oh, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do that? That is funny. And yeah. it's like, well, you just solve those problems, you know? Like, yeah, everything has It'll take time a complication. And, yeah. But you solve it. But you solve it. One challenge at a time. Like, it is a big shock learning that, like, I have to dump my own poop. <laughs> it is a big shock remembering to maintain every mechanical aspect of this rig. It's totally a different experience saying, I'm going to change my own oil. I'm going to take care of this rig. And, like, you know, we're towing our... When we're driving. We are driving our entire lives. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you go slow. You, so you it take it like you're the big rig you are. <laughs> we will be, over the course of the next year, traveling, finishing lots of future documentaries. You know, our favorite and coolest client we've ever had conscious content has given us the opportunity to make a ton of really cool documentaries and kevin bryan just got their rig too and so you'll have to tune into them and hear their stories because their big old bus is sure to be awesome when they go on their book tour we get to finish up a bunch of films that we're working on from them we'll be able to go to north carolina and California, working on clean technology company documentaries that we're working on, clean water issues. We're also got to finish up our documentary Tethered for them, which is all about digital addiction. So we're busy. And, you know, Mark and Marina, there are two other people we haven't mentioned yet that are shout out Shaman Motion Pictures, OGs, and <laughs> they've got a van, a Ford Transit convert that they built out and customized. Like, so we've got mobile TV studios where we can travel and tell powerful stories for conscious content, create original content for Shaman Motion Pictures, and ultimately be just broadcasting out really important stuff, you and know? Good vibes. Good vibes, magic, <laughs> education, awareness, conversation starters. And hopefully, along that journey, when we're working on the documentaries, when we're, heck, at campsites next to. Uh, unique people will be able to interview them kind mm-hmm. of explore what it what it really means to you know use your magic in this world i think that really is our our niche right like it's yeah. it's I, like shaman as a whole are divine interpreters of magical energy right like mm-hmm. in from nature to spirits and more and i think we in particular have always seen other people's magic, you know? And there's so many people doing amazing things in this world from, like, people who are saving animals and bringing them to no-kill animal sanctuaries to people who are, like, solo building tiny homes for homeless communities. And and just there's a an infinite amount of altruism that we can explore and see and understand. How are these people, like, transcending them, their, their fears? And pushing themselves to do good in this world. Because they're out there in mm-hmm. bulk. And I want to find them. So everyone on the road has their own setup. Has their own rig, van, bus, whatever it might be. Fifth wheel. And it's all specialized and unique to each person and each family. Which is so beautiful to me. And I think that that is something to be said for um because it kind of goes along with one of my favorite sayings comparison is the thief of joy because you know everyone has their own needs for a different rig some people want just a little pop-up van you know that they can tow with their subaru (laughs) you know some people want a class crv um for us we or got vans. Our, our vans, you know, and, you know, our, our lovely friends, the Wandering Dexters, shout out. <laughs> All the shout outs. Um, they rebuilt this beautiful box fan and they did it so amazingly. And I give them such huge props because, you know, I know that Josh and I are extremely smart and we so have we our do. strengths. But Let's talk about how we made Judy uh, fully made over. You know, we remember we got her. So it's like your your classic <laughs> like standard RV. And yeah. So we, our we RV is our RV is very special to us. Um, 
when we walked into Judy, she was in perfect mechanical condition and everything. Mm-hmm. Brand new um, engine, V10, mm-hmm. ready to go. Yep, yeah, ready to go. And I immediately saw so much potential for personality and decoration and all the things that could be done with it, and especially for the cats. And our rig is perfect for us because there's the perfect amount of space for our dog, our two cats, and for us where we don't feel too crammed, but we also feel like we are still pretty, you know, minimalistic. The pets and, love it, don't they? Oh my god. We I mean, I have cats. never seen my cats happier. Nugget and Nova. Um, Nugget and Nova. And that's that's gotta be a whole and other episode boy, in itself, because, I mean... Mr. Doctor. I'm not gonna say it was easy to transition them. I mean, there was a lot of He's effort, good. research, love, and commitment that it took on my end as an owner of the cats to make sure that their transition into the RV was comfortable and fluid didn't scare them. And also before transitioning them into the RV, they had had experience in the car. Um, I drove them from Colorado, from Wisconsin to Colorado when I moved back and they had experience there, but you know, I just, I feel like it's all about the research. It's all about looking into it, making sure you're taking the, the right steps and my thing is, and Josh, you I know did, you did a great job. Josh, you always say this too, is like, our pets are, our pets, like, they, d- they depend on us. So, they love Judy, and we love Judy, and we are doing so, It's so good really cool how they've all fully, like, like embraced this lifestyle. Nugget and Nova will sleep anything, on the dash. Yeah, this year, doctors. doctors being the naughty one. Dude, for real. So, we, are re- so we have we this are beautiful, him, but... beautiful, sweet dog. He's the best color in the world, and he's very intelligent. He's, Grandma's boy. But he's also Shut a troublemaker. Up. <laughs> he definitely has a big personality and he de- is very demanding for what he wants but he does love the life because honestly he just wants to be with us and this rv gives him that 24 7 you know the pets aside i think the relationship that matters most here is you and i mm-hmm. you know um we've been kind of co-pilots and i think there's been a lot of ego humbling <laughs> because of the rv out of mm-hmm. both of us because let's be real there have been numerous occasions I have not listened to you, and I have been stubborn. And there have been numerous occasions where you have been stubborn too, and things haven't gone quite your way. And it shows us both. And I've been right, and you've been right. And I but it shows us that our we have strengths where one of us might not mm-hmm. have so much strength. So exactly, we're learning. You know, like I'm a better driver. <laughs> but you drive more. Oh, good, great. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's a great complementary relationship here. <laughs> I'm a perfectly yes. You are fine a very, driver. very good driver. And we have, we definitely have uncovered our strengths and weaknesses because there are places that, honestly, I'm appreciative. I have you. Like you are very well researched, and your caution and your preparedness have ensured that. We're going to take care of Judy on the next level. And honestly, I think you give us a lot of grounding. And I think I give us a lot of wings, Mm -hmm. you know, like I show us that we can do anything without fear. Yeah, but you're you, like, go, 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 do, do, do. And I'm like, wait, wait. And you, but that caution is healthy. And I, (laughs) I think... You know, I, I'm a little more experienced in my career just because I'm older and I've been doing it a while. But you have been making amazing strides in terms of switching into a self-employed lifestyle. I mean, being laid off because of coronavirus and being thrown into, okay, now I'm self-employed. Like, that's a huge transition. But I think being able to do this together has made that easier for you because I can help guide you. Yet at the same time, you help me not dive in too deep into my work and, you know, encourage me to play and and find my magic. And, you know, you've introduced my yoga practice. You, like we've done started meditation with our friends and like 
like you encourage me to get out and explore. And I think there's a lot of healthy, you know, balance between the two of us. And I can't say for sure that that was entirely present in the middle of winter living in Colorado in our house. Mm -hmm. I think there was a lot of financial stress because of how expensive it was to rent and pay all those utilities. And now here we are in Judy where we own this asset together. You and me. It's nobody else's. We are you and I are the landlords. And And so like you that's know so and, cool. and you know, comparing prices, the start off to get into Judy was a little steep, but that was with the, the tow package. I mean, we're talking we put our heart and soul into getting this thing off the ground. Mm. Um but we're looking at monthly payments. I mean, we are just drastically way more less stressed out about that whole situation and for me as an artist and as a coach that is crucial to my happiness to feel like I am in synchronicity with what I need to be doing in this life and for me that's not working a 10-hour shift on my feet you know that's not (laughs) paying rent to something that I will never own just to see it go away within a year or have to find a new place to move. I mean, I don't, I think the biggest goal for me personally, and I think Josh, you could speak to this too, is to live the nomadic lifestyle is to live without restraint, is to live, you know, not against society, but to create our own way of viewing society where we feel comfortable to be ourselves and yeah. feel comfortable to express ourselves in the society that we want to be in. And I think that shows a lot of like light to what everyone's perceptions we have all we all have the power to perceive whatever we would like our lives to be. And you know, we put energy into getting into Judy and to being here. We put energy into getting across the country and we have made it this far. And we have been safe. We've had funny moments. We've had scary moments. We've had cats escaping. We've had, you know... Toe dolly. Toe dolly mishaps. We've had, you know, the list goes on. And we've only been in, you know... We've only just begun. We've only just begun. This is... um, No, baby, the way I feel about it, we... It's day two, in my opinion. Two and a half weeks. Because while we've been on the road, we were comfortable anchored at our family's house we just hit the road you and me are it's just you and me now yeah on the road and now the days of the week don't matter we're not trying we had all these camping trips and family time planned but that's over now now it's just you and me on the road self-employed every single day monday through sunday it doesn't matter what Mm -hmm. day of the week it is this rv experience has helped us establish better routines for ourselves have days the way that we want to shape them and construct them and it's it's beautiful Mm -hmm. i'm so happy i'm the happiest i've ever been in my whole life Mm -hmm. and it's because i live in an rv with you (laughs) i love you baby and i'm just excited because we both get to follow our passions with extreme force (laughs) you know like i am a flow artist and so being able to spin in all these different places is extremely valuable to my growth and also for us to be able to canoe in all these different lakes and waters ocean just kidding just recently learned that you definitely should not (laughs) canoe in an ocean (laughs) but that's okay i mean you you learn as you go you're you know (laughs) i think this has been a really good exploration of our experiences. What I think what we'll proceed with moving forward is we're going to keep in touch with you guys. You know, every other week we're going to record one of these podcasts. Hopefully we have opportunities to safely invite guests onto the show. And if not, we'll keep it just between you and I about the lessons that we've learned on the road, What's the people on? we've met. I mean, every week wh- where every we are at. Is something new, you know, what is essential is that we are going to be here for you on this whole ride. We, we're kind of just driving off into the unknown. We are making a feature documentary about this for Shaman Motion Pictures alongside a 
you know, our friends, Mark and Marina, who are in the RV, and hopefully we can rope Dan and Danielle into it as well. And we can become this, like, mobile magic force in the world. Magic in motion. You know, that's the, literally the the brand of what Shaman Motion Pictures is, is we are fluidly capturing the world around us and experiencing it as best we can, communicating it to our our tribe, you know, the people who are going to tune into this podcast, the people who have been following our journeys in Fort Collins and Oshkosh and Lodi and Madison and Georgia and Florida and everywhere we have friends that care about us. And we want to show them that we are happy because we are living fearlessly. That we we know we can make the world a better place. We know we can help individual people become better versions of themselves. We know that we can inspire more people to seek freedom and to follow their dreams. We know that we can educate people about extremely important cultural issues and hopefully make incremental improvements to what it means to be human in this country. And I think the backdrop of the coronavirus leaves a lot of people very fearful and vulnerable. And I hope we can be that lighthouse by the sea. You know, I hope we can we can guide towards positivity and and happiness and love because there's those are such important principles to who you and i are madeline yeah yeah and i think it's magical too because every week we're going to be doing something different so when we get back on the podcast to share with all the people that are staying tuned it's really just a timeline of our lives on the road and it's letting them into what's going on and it feels so cool to have it feels like everyone's here with us i feel like this is the most natural environment of communication i've ever been in like this this ability to sit and just have a a normal conversation about things it feels like my favorite form of social communication because like instagram posts and and Twitter tweets and stuff, they seem so short form, right? And I let, I think there's a lot of benefit to understanding a concept from simply sitting down and talking about it. You know, that those are the best and just simply changes. And listening. And listening mm-hmm. and, and understanding each other. And I think that is what we're going to do on this show. I think we're going to practice active listening. We're going to practice mindfulness and we're going to seek powerful (laughs) change and magical experience and it's all thanks to our big bootied 29 foot class c motorhome (laughs) she's so beautiful (laughs) well thank you everybody for joining us on the namaste nomadic podcast what a cool experience we're we're really honored to have this platform to have you the listener, be a part of our journey. Every other week, we plan to sit down and share our experiences and stories. Thank you, Madeline, most of all, because Thank I don't you, think Josh. I could do this without you, baby. I really don't think I could do it. I don't think I could lounge on the couch as much as I do without you driving as much as you do. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a pretty good trade, I think. That's love. That's what it is. Well, hey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, join us every other Wednesday on any platform you get your favorite podcasts. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, probably some others. But what's most important, if you like this podcast, if you like the other documentary work we're doing at shamanmotionpictures.com, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Our super fans, our patrons are literally the like life force of who we get some swag you'll get all kinds of cool swag we got hats we got stickers we got a whole revamped line of new merchandise that we're going to be offering out to our top fans it's really critical that we have you in our corner because it helps us literally make this documentary and other ideas we have in the future too like our super fans are our tribe 
we want you to be part of this journey. We want you to tune in every week. Please hit that subscribe button. I know that's the the big thing all the Gen Zers. Do, 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 subscribe. Subscribe. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. What a joy it's been to have you. I guess See you down the road. The last thing we'll send you off with is a beautiful, beautiful and powerful namaste. namaste. Peace, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>